Okay, and put it down. Yep, go ahead. This is vector equilibrium. We will teach you how to make this later on in the video. For those of you who are, who are following this video series, one thing we've learned is not to is not to color in the star tetrahedrons completely, but to leave some white paper showing you know, so that the tape can stick to it. It's okay, it's okay, I got it. I got it. And in the vector equilibrium, you'll have one male, which is pointing up. On the bottom. On the, ver on the very bottom. In the middle there. And then you'll have three females, which are pointing down. One, two, and three. And then you'll have a female on top that's facing down, this one. And three males are facing up, this one, this one, and this one. And then we will show you how to make it with magnets. Just for a quick little peek. So, in this one. Start with one male. You'll start with one male, and then, which, which is pointing up, and you'll add one triangle like this. Then you'll get two more magnets and and make this female a tetrahedron. This is the first female tetrahedron facing down. And they share they share some vectors which are they share these they, they share one vector which is like the uh, magnet six. Then next you're going to do the same thing on this side. Turn it into a... Uh, oh, just, just a sec. This one's the small thing. Uh, small, small thing. Okay. And then you'll do the same, of course. Turn it into a tetrahedron, and that is your second female. Okay, let's show them this first. So you have two females. And so one male. you okay. have two females and one male now, and then next you'll do the same. Add this, make it a tetrahedron, and that is your three females and your one male pointing up. And then these open spaces, you'll fill up with these kind of like bridges. There we go. Then you'll start. That's your bottom half. But that's your bottom half. Let me get a picture from the top. Then. And from the side. Okay, go ahead. Um. So then you'll start. You'll start your female tetrahedron. No, your top part. Your your top part, which is. The female in the center. In, in the center, there will be the female tetrahedron. There we go. And then you'll add these triangles. And we can't really get those to attach because these balls are too small. But if you pretend that there are two sticks here, that is your full um, vector equilibrium. Yeah, nice. And next, you will make, 
it, and next we'll show you how to make it with straws and thread like that. You'll get your thread and needle and one straw and you'll put this needle through, put it through there and then take it out there and then tie it to itself over here and that's how you make your anchor. Next. You'll oh, get... we forgot how to cut the straws. We, we have to show how to cut the straws. Um, um, just make sure you cut all the straws. Um. So, for, first make sure you uh, cut all the straws to the same length. We'll get to that part after this. Well, here. Say, so, cause, because vector equilibrium. Because a um, vector equilibrium has 36 vectors, 12 on the inside, and 24 on the outside. So, we'll start, we'll start. And they should be the same and, length And they the should edge. be the same same length as the edge of your star of tetrahedron. This star tetrahedron. So you put it through one straw and then you put it through the next. Um for our and for people following for, our series. For people following our series the straws should be the, about the straws should be about seven and nine tenths centimeters or three and one eighth inches. So you have. And look at this. Make them all the same. So, you, oh, we already. Do, so to cut the thirty-six straws to exactly the same length. This is very important because it's a vector equilibrium. Okay, so here we'll show you how to make, make how to finish off the triangle. Put it through there, and it comes out there. And you have your triangle. What do we do here? Okay. You put two and more. Then, you put two and more then on. you put two more on. And this is a do not use thing. It's okay. Go ahead. Okay. And that'll be your one side of your tetrahedron. And that'll be and one go side. Go back through one of those. Good. Then you'll go through this. Okay. Yes. And then, uh, here we go. And so pull it through till it's. T oh. Does that work? No, it does not. I think it does. Does it? Well, um, yeah, yeah it, it works. Does. Um, so we we just had a little problem there. So pull all good. So pull it all the way. There's now you need one on there. Now you just need one more on. Sounds like four. And then pull it through. Mm -hmm. And see where it connects. It connects over. And connects over to that. Connects. It, it connects to either this one or this one. Mm -hmm. So I'll just put it through this one. Please wait one second. Ah. Okay. And then pull it through. All the way. Good. And it's beautiful. That is your tetrahedron. Then you're gonna. That's your male. Th that and that's your male. Now how do you put a female on there? And then. Oh, we're running out of thread. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what you would do is you would so, so show what, with the straws how to put a female. So so what you would do is you would connect connect. The connect these three make another triangle. Well, the triangle well, would come off the top, wouldn't it? Just like the magnet. Well, actually, oh yeah. So you so you'd make a uh, you you do it just like just like <laughs> the mat just like the magnet. Except you're doing it with straws and thread. Yeah, except you're doing it with straws and thread. So you do that. Then make that. Yep. 
and then, then make that into a tetrahedron. And then make that into a tetrahedron. Good. So we, we, so, we know because so, we saw the magnets. So, so we know because we saw the magnets. And, I'm going to uh, have to stop and continue on another we're 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 gonna we're gonna have to stop and do a part two of part two.